All right, guys, what is up? You oh my gosh, my hair. Hold on, let me fix this really quick. All right, guys, so I just fixed my hair. I think it's better. Let's check this out right now. Okay, I think it's good enough. Um, anyway, man, today is gonna be a very different day, man. What I wanna talk about, right, is really where I learned to code online. And if you wanna know exactly how I learned code online, make sure you go to this time frame. But if not, enjoy the vlog. No way, it's gonna take 53 minutes to get to work. Alright guys, what is up? So I'm here now um, on my lunch break and I got permission that I could go ahead and use this room during my lunch. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I wanna show you guys, I mean, this is the reason why you clicked on this video, I'm pretty sure, unless you just like looking at me. Um, the, what I wanna show you guys is exactly what I use, like where, where did I go and what did I use to actually learn code online where I was able to learn enough code in like six months. Where in reality, I actually got a job in three months, but I want to show you exactly what it is I did today. But yeah, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, so where I started to learn code was Team Treehouse. Okay, so this is where I started to learn code, right? Um, this was about two and a half years ago to this day. Um, I was at my old job when I was working at an audiovisual company, and I had no idea what it is that I wanted to do. I went here to teamtreehouse.com. I went ahead and I did a seven day free trial. And if you want to follow me along or whatever, I'll put the link in the description below where you can get seven days free. And let me show you what it is I did. So this is what I love about Treehouse, okay? So when I went to Treehouse and where I started to learn code, the fact that I actually use was the front end developer tracks. As you can tell, I completed the HTML CSS part, HTML basics, did the CSS basics. And the thing that you'll notice, right? This is what's cool about Treehouse I love is that they actually track your progress and their video quality is insane. It's really good. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna lie. For example, let's say as I'm, I'm going through here, for example, you wanna learn and get into code, you don't know where to start. Well, you start with the introduction to HTML, CSS. We do this. Pretty much everything on the web uses HTML and CSS to some degree. From simple websites look, look to at the quality of this, this video like and the audio. And um, I was in the office, you could check it out right here. That's where I was standing. Look at that, man. That's where I'm gonna stand. That is so cool. Look at that, it's my drone. All right, so the way this works, uh, this camera here, this is everybody, right? This yeah. is, when, you, when you talk to this one, you're thinking you're talking to everybody. And then you can turn and you can talk to, very specifically, this student right here. You see the student right there? Yes. That's the advice that you wanna give there. And I was literally in this office where I was, I pretty much was where, I, where they were doing all the courses, which is kind of cool. And so you could tell the quality is really, really high. Um, for example, now we go through the intro and this is how the video structure is. And this is what I love about Treehouse because they make it really easy to learn. Look at this quality. It's nothing compared to Udemy, right? That's why I don't really use in Udemy much. In the last much. video you learned about HTML tags and how they identify the type of content and on the it's page. So, cool. so pretty much this is the quality that they have here at Treehouse. So I went through the front end track, and what's really cool is that when you use something like, for example, let's say you use Udemy, um, which is not bad, I mean, a lot of people use it, but what I love about Treehouse is it had this launch workspace thing. Now what this launch workspace thing did um, was that they actually, it's pretty much their own text editor where you can go along and they'll create these files for you so it will be easier for you to learn along where your main focus is just to learn the basics of whatever they're teaching. Um, and this is absolutely amazing. So let me go ahead and then load this right now. And I wonder if it's gonna load my code from two and a half years ago. Oh shoot, it's here, man. This is crazy. So let me show you, this is the page I made. Okay, well, my name is not Treasure. This is the basic page. Damn, this is old school. This is the code that I wrote from like years ago. Jeez, that's crazy. So this is my old code, no, it's code, and it's really cool because it's actually a really good text editor. And I don't think a lot of people realize how amazing this is. One of the things I really liked about Treehouse so much is number one, yes, the high quality videos, the high quality content, but they create things, like they created their own text editor. I don't know anyone else doing that. No one that I know 
does that where they have videos they, they teach you courses through a video and they have their own text editor, which is simply amazing. And what's cool is that you can save it, right? You can save it and not even just that, like you can go back to it from years ago. I mean, there's this place, for example, right here, which says workspaces. What's really cool about this is that I can go through all of my workspaces from like years ago, everything I worked on in the past. For example, um, creating a modal with CSS. This is from a long time ago, that's crazy. Um, this thing right here, that's insane. <laughs> but I can go back to things I worked on a long time ago because what happens is that some people, when they learn code, they like to store their files on the computer. But what Treehouse does is that they actually save this to the cloud or their storage on their server, which is insane, which is convenient for you. Um, and which is one of the things I love about so much. And so yeah, they have all these things like video, these text editor, and this is where I learned to code online. But one thing I do want to talk about is that when I was learning code, my biggest struggle other than JavaScript was CSS. CSS was a pain in the butt. And so because CSS took me a while to understand, honestly, like two months, because I'm that slow, I'm not as smart as you guys, right? I'm not as smart as you guys at all whatsoever. And so CSS was honestly really difficult for me to learn. Um, and so what I actually ended up doing is that I ended up going to udacity.com. And because I figured, okay, why am I having a hard time learning CSS at Treehouse? Maybe I wanna try a different place, right? Maybe somewhere better where they teach free courses. So I went here to Udacity, I went into the catalog and I found that they had some free courses. So what I did is I actually looked, searched for the free CSS course, intro to HTML, CSS, I'm, um, and I went here, for example, start free course. So yeah, so I went in here and I went to their CSS syntax and this is what they have. Hey everybody, welcome back to this lesson on style. Okay. Before we start. First of all, first of all, okay. When you look at this, right, you can really see the quality of the video is completely different. Treehouse has much higher quality videos. And, and I want to as you to James. Okay, as cool as all of this may look right here, right? I mean, right away, you can tell that the UI UX at Treehouse is made for you and me. The UI UX at Treehouse, their programs are so much more easy to run. And so, anyway, I just I thought I'd mention that. Okay, so, um, so these are the videos at Udacity. Um, and for example, let's here. say I want to go more to CSS. So, this is where I went to actually learn more CSS, but you have to look at this. I want to focus more deeply now, on selectors. For, for example, let's say I'm getting into coding and I don't know what to do. The problem that I had with, with Udacity is that they didn't have their own text editor. Yes, you could download Sublime Text and you could work on your own text editor. But what I love again about Treehouse, especially when it comes to the basics, especially when you're just starting into getting into web development or front-end developer, back-end developer, whatever it is, they make it so that you can totally focus on just learning as much code as you possibly can. Like, they give you your own text editor. But if you, when I went here on Udacity, immediately right away, I was like, oh man, now after, you know, I don't know how to use a text editor yet when I was st like started. And some people would be like, Chris, you're a noob. Text editors are easy to use, right? But the thing is though, right, as a new developer, someone just getting into code, you have no idea where to start. You don't know what text editor to use. There are a lot of things you don't know what to do, right? Everything's so new. But with Treehouse, what they did is that made everything simple for me. But anyway, so I went through here, I went through the CSS course here again at Udacity. And at the end of the day, even oh, while using Udacity, I still didn't understand CSS. enough CSS to help me move on to JavaScript, right? And so again, I messed up. I went back to Treehouse. And actually, what I ended up doing, but I went through the CSS track three times in a row because I just couldn't understand it. I was so confused. Yeah, I mean, this is what I learned. And what I love about it, for example, now I'm actually doing the tech degree with Treehouse. I'm doing the full stack. JavaScript tech degree. Now, since I joined my company, Entrepreneur, I haven't used it as much because I've been so busy, you know, doing learning what I need to do here at Entrepreneur Magazine. So I haven't used a tech degree within the last week, but I do often use it. What I love about the tech degree, all right, if you're able to afford this. Now, if you could only pay $25 a month, do the $25 membership if you don't have the fund to do the tech degree. But this is what I love about the tech degree program. First of all, this screen that you see right here will not be here whatsoever when you do it a regular 25 membership program. If you don't actually make progress, Treehouse cares so much that they'll actually send you an email to ask, hey, Chris, is everything okay? We noticed that you haven't been doing the tech degree for a while. Um, why? Because they know $200 a month is expensive. Yes, a tech degree is $200 a month, but this is why it's so worth it, and this is why I love it this much. Now check this out. So when you learn the regular membership, for example, let's go back to tracks. On a front end development track, you are working on basic things. You're not actually given any projects. What they're doing in the front end developer track is that they're just teaching you the basics and how to write code, which is important, which is great. But at the end of the day, you're not really doing any projects. You're building basic things on their website. You're not given specific projects at all. You're just being taught how to code, which is what you need 
but to get a job, you need a portfolio. But what's so great about the tech degree program is that number one, it's a lot cheaper than going to a boot camp. At a boot camp, you're paying fifteen hundred dollars a month. You're paying maybe twenty thousand, fifteen thousand dollars to learn like X amount of code in three months, which you'll probably forget how to use in like maybe a month or so after boot camp if you don't actually start applying it right away, which is the truth. I mean, I've forgotten so much code that I haven't used in such a long time. Example, PHP, right? You have to think about it. The thing about the tech degree program is that not only is it thousands of dollars cheaper than going to your boot camp, but they give you products that you can use. And secondly, they give you a Slack channel where you can actually go on Slack and you can communicate with the mods and etc. What's great about the tech degree program, and I actually put it on Twitter a couple months ago when I started doing the tech degree program. Wow, like learning a tech degree program has taught me so much. And look at this, they give you actual projects to work on, like legit projects. I mean, I love it, man. So I worked on this project in the tech degree program, random code generator. Uh, so I went ahead and submitted the project and he looked at exactly pretty much what it is that I done, right? Um, and this is great. And so the co cool thing about the tech degree program is that they give you projects, but they make sure that they don't just, you're, you're kind of on training wheels, but they take off the training wheels at the right time, uh, especially when you're working on your project. So there was a project that I worked on. It was called the Random Code Generator, pure JavaScript. I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, when I was working at my first developer job for one year and six months, even though I was working with HTML, CSS, and jQuery all the time, I was not sufficient enough to write like pure, good, clean code JavaScript. But what this did is that it taught me how to write JavaScript well. It taught me how to understand functions and variables and arrays well and why you need them and when you need them too. And so what happened is that with the tech degree program, when you actually submit a project, what they do is they actually have moderators that look at your code in detail and they even grade you on how well or bad you did. Right. So for example, I submitted my project. Did I really put in my utmost effort or did I just stay? And what's cool is that they had someone grade my stuff. And this is what they said. They said, actually this made me feel pretty good. I'm not going to lie. On here it says, you named everything correctly and followed the project rubrics closely. Again, attention to detail is a great tool to have as a programmer. I must say, this was a very interesting solution from my perspective. It said, I've never yet seen anyone include the background color and text color as properties on objects. It does lend itself well to quotes by specific companies or groups and et cetera. And so they graded my project. They said, I exceed the expectations. You know, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> and so, I mean, this is what I did and this is where I used to learn to code. This is what I done online to learn code, right? I mean, it's, it's honestly just, it's really amazing. And I, I love what Treehouse has done for me. And the reason that I promote Treehouse so much and how I say this is why I learned to code online to get me a job as a developer in three months is because I genuinely believe in how well they can help you. I genuinely believe that this is the place where you need to go to learn code online. Yes, bootcamp help. Yes, if you can go to college, do it. I mean, at a young age. But I mean, if you don't want any college debt and you want to find a way where you can learn code online well, this is the place to go. Questions, or if you want more help. And on my Discord channel, we have questions for CSS, JavaScript, React, Angular, Vue, HTML, Node.js, Django, Python, Java, Spring, PHP, Laravel, everything where people can help you out. I mean, this is where I learned to code. And the reason I want to share this is because I really think this is where you can learn code and where you can become a developer. Uh, and you have nothing to lose. You can try it out, link in the description. You can get a you know, seven day free trial. And to be honest, man, I've seen it. Someone literally, and I'll, I'll try to find this for you guys, but someone literally left me a comment saying that they were able to get a developer job working for GoDaddy after just eight months of learning code. Eight months ago, or you know, he decided to learn code to be a front-end developer, and he landed a job at GoDaddy.com as a front-end developer after eight months. GoDaddy front-end engineer salaries, front-end engineer salaries at GoDaddy can range, range from $73,000 to $97,000 a year. This estimate is based upon the GoDaddy front and engineer salary reports provided by employees at glassdoor.com, but that is what they're paid at GoDaddy.com. That's insane. So you have to understand that this person, let's just say they made $40,000 a year. This person went from $40,000 a year salary, and while he was working at that job, learned code for eight months, and now got a 73, let's say $80,000 salary at GoDaddy. He increased his salary by almost 100%. He doubled the salary in just eight months for studying code and got a job at GoDaddy.com. Now that, that must have taken a lot of effort and that's really impressive, but who says that this can't happen to you too? 
So yeah, I mean, I hope this helped. I know this is a long video, um, but I'm making this because I'm really hoping that it'll help you guys get a job in the industry too. This is where I learned to code online and I really hope this guys will help you. If you have any questions, leave a question in the comment below or just go to my Discord channel and ask me a question there or in the chat and someone will be able to help you out almost immediately. And yeah, man, I mean, that's how I became a developer in three months. And I hope this will help you too. This is Krishan, this is Life for a Developer. And I'm out, peace.